Hey everyone, Liam here. I'm finally at the US Open and this is my first vlog of many that you'll be seeing along the tournament, as well as practice session videos up and close with the players. So make sure you subscribe to check that out. But in this one, I went to the Sunday, the last day of the fan week, where I got to see the likes of, you know, Carlos Alcaraz practicing up close, Stefan Tsitsipas up close, Alexander Zverev, Andrei Rublev, Kasper Ruud, Andy Murray, Ben Shelton, and more. You know, there's every player that you're gonna see in this video, I am front row on all of the courts, getting the practice videos for you guys. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, as I said before, and let's get into the vlog. Having been to the US Open last year, only during the actual playing days, I got there and you know what? It seemed quite empty for the Sunday, you know, fan week, but in the end, people were very, very keen on getting there. We, uh, we got in the line and people were there like an hour and a half earlier than the, than the opening doors. And once they came in, you can see that everyone was running in to try and get onto Arthur Ashe Stadium. I wasn't really bothered to try and go, go on to Ashe just because, you know, I've been on Ashe before, but I knew that if you really wanted to get the most out of your day, you had to be on the outside courts where you could get to see the players up front and close. As you can see, you know, having a look around the grounds and then I headed over to court five, got to see Matteo Berrettini and Lorenzo Sonigo and their teams playing a bit of tennis football. And then obviously on the channel, you'll see a practice video from them coming soon over the next few weeks. After I was done looking at that, I headed over to court P1, where actually not many people knew that Carlos Alcaraz would be coming out there before he would even be heading over to Ash Stadium. And uh, so yeah, I, I managed to get there, get some good seats. And as you guys have seen on the channel, there's a there's a very good practice session video out there. And you can see there, Dominic team manages to come onto the court. You know, you got all the great stars coming out and during the fan week, and it's great to see because it's free entry, free access for everyone. And it's a very good time for everyone. You can see Dominic warming up before his practice session and then obviously the main attraction starts to come out Carlos Alcaraz is here everyone's extremely happy and you know what the fans go crazy when they see Carlitos I remember last year seeing him around the grounds and you know he wasn't as popular as, as a player as he was now and you could just you know watch him practice up close get a selfie with him but now it's practically impossible you can see there Carlos is one of the only players actually when I saw practicing on the Sunday he was actually doing a full-on warm-up making sure that with his team he was ready physically to go even just for you know a little warm-up practice session with a with a Francisco Sarundolo ahead of his uh, practice set you could say on Arthrash Stadium later that afternoon he was the only player who was really doing one of these physical warm-ups the other ones would just come up onto court and start hitting the balls so that was great to see I guess that's also why Carlos has the level that he has compared to the other the rest of the field on the ATP tour Make sure you go onto my channel if you want to actually see the full-on practice session that I filmed up close for Alcaraz. After which, you know, I went over and I walked around and I walked past Grandstand and I remembered that Dominic Team said he was going to be there on the practice session. So, you know what, I went there and there was Dominic Team practicing against Stan Wawrinka. So, as I said earlier, another video will be coming between them two practicing right on the court side. So make sure you check that out and you subscribe to the channel to make sure you keep up to date. I then had a little, little look around again, you know, just walking around all the stadiums, seeing who's practicing here and there. And I eventually made my way over to court 13, where I actually managed to see Ben Shelton and Andy Murray practicing up close as well. Following this, you know, I tried to come down and try and get a selfie with Andy Murray, just to see if I even managed to. I saw Alex Michelson walking around as well. And you can see here, it was absolute mayhem and chaos around the, the practice area where people were just trying to get through. And you'll see in a second, Murray walking through and explain that he couldn't take selfies with pictures of everyone. Guys, guys. Yeah. 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 Go. Running late. As soon as Murray left, there was much less chaos for Ben Shelton. So I actually managed to get myself a selfie with him, which was nice. Had a little walk around, eventually had some lunch, you know, because we'd been out in the sun all day, needed some refueling. And eventually, you know, afterwards, we after our little walk around, we ended up on court 17, where actually we saw Kasper Ruud and Diego Schwartzman quickly practicing. But followed which we saw, you know, Andrei Rublev practicing as well. And we saw uh, Alex Zverev against Alexander Shevchenko practicing as well. So enjoy some of these points.
And as I said before, it was extremely hot. So, you know, what, well, we ended up getting some ice cream, which to be honest, you know, a lot of things here at the US Open are overpriced, but this one I'd say is fairly priced because it was actually really good for the price itself. Had a more of a walk around. And, you know, at this point we didn't know really what to go watch anymore because we'd seen all the major players who were playing that day. So we had a little walk, walk around all of the shops and eventually we decided, you know what, let's go over to uh, Louis Armstrong Stadium because we heard that uh, Milos Raonic might be practicing there. But before we did that, we had a little pit stop at the Wilson Center where they gave us actually free kids rackets along the way. And then we headed over to Louis Armstrong where, as you can see, we had perfect front row seats to watch Milos Raonic practice first up followed by which we saw Stefano Tsitsipas practice as well. And obviously this was the day before both of them played their first round match on Louis Armstrong, which Tsitsipas won in straight sets. All in all, it was a great day. And eventually once Tsitsipas finished his practice, we left. It was a lot of people, but you know what? The next day, as you will see in the, in the actual first day of the US Open, there was even more people on the ground. It was great to see all the players interacting with all the fans along the way. And you know, it was the first great day at the US Open, even though it was the fan week. And I recommend everyone who doesn't have a ticket at the US Open to go to the fan week because you get the most out of not having to pay a ticket and being able to see all your favorite players along the way.